When was the last time you got headshots? 2000 and... <laughs> I'm going to say... It's been a minute. 13, 2013. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> I usually try and get them every 10 years, whether I need them or not. Every 10 years? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, not kidding, you actually. driver's license faster than that. Uh... Yeah, 2012 or 2013. I feel like headshots, once you are on a series, once you're series regular, you don't need them anymore. No, you always need them. I don't know, though. It's all digital, but they're still looking at my headshot. It's, I'm not, I, look, by the, I brought a but physical headshot. But you didn't, you headshot. haven't had them since 2013. Not new ones, but I have handled a physical headshot in the last two months. And really? physically brought one to an audition. Really? Yeah, that doesn't go away. I mean, unless that's so like, crazy to me. It's not crazy. I still go to fucking Kinko's okay. and print my resume do you and really? cut them. Yes, I do. A, a woman of the people. <laughs> a woman. A woman of the people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. You go Boston to Kinko's? Market. Yeah, I said, oh, that. said that. Never mind. Okay. I go to I go to Staples. That's f- weird to me. I feel okay. Do you think Barack Obama, when he goes to a job interview, brings a resume? I feel like you don't need to have a headshot. You're like, turn on the TV. I'm not famous. I'm not fa- I'm I didn't not- say you were famous, but I don't think you need a headshot. I do need a headshot because the, I, they just need to organize. You know what I'm saying? I disagree. <laughs> when I cast the next cast thing I'm casting, There's I'm going to be like, no, I don't need your headshot. I think if you have an idea of like, oh, when I get to this thing, this is going to go away. I think you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. There's no level. I'm not aiming to not have a headshot, to, just to be I'm, clear. But people, I've been to commercial auditions, and this woman said to me, I thought you don't have to do this anymore. And I was oh. like, no, that's, none of that's true. You always have to audition. You always have to have headshots, or you have to do, you have, there's no place where you just get offers and you never well, have to do that this. anymore. Was there a point in your career where you've seen your, do you, do you get offered roles ever? Yes. Okay. When, do, when did that sort of change where you were getting offered more stuff than you were? You pro- you probably still auditioning obviously a lot, but I audition a lot. I get uh, the first offer I got was I did the Curb Your Enthusiasm pilot. You did, which was yeah, which was a oh, one. It was awesome. supposed to be a one hour special, but H- I think HBO liked it so much they were like, "Will you do this as a series?" So when I came back for another season, they offered it to me. But obviously, because I worked for them right. before, right. I was just playing another character, right? Um. But I mean, I I've worked with so many like showrunners at this point and casting directors especially. And if it's a if it's a role that doesn't have to get approved by the network and that the either the showrunner or the executive producer can make the decision, they'll just ask me <coughs> if I want to do it. And that but that's just from relationships. That's well, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm saying I feel like you shouldn't need a headshot because of those relationships. Well, for those guys, I don't need a headshot. But for everyone else, you know, there's probably like. Four showrunners who will offer me a role, but all the nine hundred others will they, they'll need to know what I look like. <laughs> There's nine hundred other showrunners. There's so much content out there these days. 